Uh, let's continue talking about the amnesty plan with uh, the senator from Wisconsin, the Republican who's a member of the Senate Committee on Foreign Relations and the presumptive chairman next session of the Homeland Security and Government Affairs and Oversight Committee, Senator Ron Johnson of Wisconsin. Ron, thanks for phoning in. You just heard the president there blaming the Republicans, saying he had no choice but to go it alone. Do you buy that? Good morning, J.D. I tell you what, you know, I listened to the speech. I've been reading it this morning, kind of going over it. And I have to say, President Obama makes uh, Bill Clinton, a.k.a. Slick Willie, look like an amateur. I mean... In, in May of 2008, as a candidate, President Obama promised, he said, what, this is an exact quote, what I can guarantee is that we will have in the first year an immigration bill that I strongly support. Now, you know that President Obama had total control of government in the first two years in office. He had a filibuster-proof majority in the Senate, which is how he passed a $800 billion dollar you know, failed stimulus, Dodd-Frank, Obamacare. He promised he'd have an immigration bill. If he was serious about fixing this problem, he would have done it in the first year. He's not serious about fixing the problem. What he's serious about is using immigration cynically for political gain. He's using it as a political weapon. If he was really serious about passing the bill, which is what he was taunting us to do, he would have worked with us and find to find agreement to start doing this in a common-sense approach. You know, J.D., I've been in business a long time. I did a lot of negotiating. The way you start a negotiation is you figure out all the things you agree on. It builds a relationship, a level of trust, so it's a lot easier finding common ground on the areas of disagreement. Last night, the first thing you talked about, more, more resource to the border, speed return, return criminals first. We agree on that. Let's do that. High-skilled laborers, there's a great deal of agreement on that. Let's keep the brightest minds in the world here in America to help our economy where we start running into areas of disagreement, not total disagreement, really in, is in terms of what we should do with the people that are already here, you know, and the timing of how we should do it. So that we don't quite dis, we don't agree on that yet. Let's do the first things that we agree on first and worry about the areas of disagreement as the second step in the process. But he's not giving us that opportunity. He's poking a stick in our eye. He's making it far more difficult to pass a bill, and he knows that which is why he's starting the, the relationship with the new Congress by picking a fight rather than trying to find common ground. And mindful of that, and we've got a little more than a minute and a half in this segment, Ron. Obviously, you graciously uh, ascended to stay with us following the break. But I'm interested, since you're going to be taking over the Senate Homeland Security Committee, what the immediate result is going to be. Do you expect now people to come flooding across the border? Because in the past, when any mention of amnesty has taken place, people say, I'm going north. Do you expect that? Well, I'm concerned about it. That's why you have to secure the border first before you do these other things. L look at deferred action on childhood admissions. It's probably the best example that we can use as, as a predictor of what might happen. You know, President Obama, you know, the, his memorandum on deferred action on childhood admissions did not apply to anybody coming into the country currently, but it did apply. So we can't trust Obama, President Obama to even enforce the letter of his own memorandums, much less, you know, the letter of the law that's been passed previously. So, and the fact of the matter is, when he, when he issued that memorandum on deferred action on childhood admissions, that's when parents in Central America looked at that and said, hey, if I get my kids into America, they're home free. And, and by and large, J.D., they have been home free. So it will create the incentive. And that's the number one goal of our policies. Let's reduce the flow. Let's reduce the incentives for illegal immigration. President Obama's uh, unilateral actions is just going to increase that. It's going to exacerbate the problem. Senator Ron Johnson is our guest. And obviously, the questions we will get to when we come back from the break, Ron, include the collective Republican reaction to what the president said last night and the action that you may take as a member of the United States Senate and uh, your colleagues in the House may take. What will the Republicans do in response? That question. The first thing we'll ask Ron Johnson when we continue Max TV, that same Senator Johnson is with us right now. Ron, thanks for hanging in. You mentioned a bill based on border enforcement. You're working on it now. Can you give us an update on uh, what you're putting together? Sure. Well, first of all, what I'm doing is working with the other uh, incoming committee chairman and chairman of the relevant committees in the House 
to, to really try and coordinate our efforts. You know, there, there's been a lot of good work in the past done on border security. Uh, J.D., I think you did something in 2006, correct? That is correct. Uh, Enforcement First Act of 2006. So we're, we're spending the next couple months taking a look at all the good work that's already been done on this, uh, getting the facts, uh, really understanding what the reality of the situation is, uh, tr try and craft a, a strong border security enforcement bill uh, that we can uh, hold hearings on, on the things that we haven't quite figured out uh, or, or decided on early in uh, the, the next Congress and then get that, that bill passed and put that on President Obama's desk because, let's face it, he, he's taken the unilateral action. I, I can't imagine he would have any uh, good political argument against finally securing the border. He's saying that's the first thing he wants to do, so I'll work with Secretary Johnson, I'll work with this administration, and let's get the border secure. Uh, Ron, you mentioned the fact that you were reaching out to other committee chairs, those who will be chairing uh, the committees in the Senate in the next Congress, as well as those in the House. There's been a whisper going around Washington that, that we need to address, some concern that Jeff Sessions, because of his outspoken nature against amnesty, could conceivably be passed over uh, for the chairmanship of the Senate Budget Committee. Is there anything to that rumor and that report that we're hearing? Well, first, there are discussions between two senior members, people I really respect. Jeff Sessions is a man of integrity, but so is Mike Enzi. And Mike Enzi, I believe, has seniority on the Budget Committee to potentially claim that chairmanship. Now, I know Senator Sessions, Senator Enzi are in discussions. If, if Senator Enzi ends up a chair, it is, has nothing to do with Senator Sessions' stance on immigration. Nothing to do. It would be simply uh, the seniority and, and basically uh, you know, the tradition of the Senate. But, but both are, are men of integrity. Uh, I've really enjoyed working with Senator Sessions as ranking member. Uh, I, I hope they're able to work it out amiably. Well, this points up something about the Senate, uh, that it, when you have 100 and only 50-plus within a Senate majority, you have a lot of dis different personalities, a lot of different uh, ideas out there. And, of course, we know that there was a group within the Senate Republican Conference that made up one half of the so-called Gang of Eight. Are you concerned that because there are those within the conference who have laid out uh, a vision that some would call amnesty or at least indulgent of a lot of the things that President Obama said, it will be difficult for the Senate to really take decisive action in response to what the president just uh, put forth last night? No, I, I think there's a recognition here that uh, there was an attempt made in the Senate to pass a comprehensive immigration bill, and it went nowhere. I mean, it was, it was dead on arrival in the House. The House is the higher hurdle here. I think there's a recognition that we really do need to legislatively start in the House, but also do this step by step. And again, from my standpoint, I think President Obama has just made it a whole lot easier for us to pass the first step in any immigration reform that would actually work which is border security and enforcement. So you know, I'm actually uh, more optimistic. Uh, I, hate, I hate to say that with what President Obama does, has done because I've, I've, I so disagree with it, but the fact of the matter is he's just given us, the, I think, the political uh, opportunity here to pass a strong border security enforcement bill because he's increased the incentive. He's exacerbated the problem. It makes it even more important that we secure a border after he's taken this unilateral action. Well, uh, Senator Johnson, we appreciate your time this morning, especially as you're at work crafting that border enforcement bill. Come back and visit with us again real soon as you get that language put together. We'd like to hear more, okay? we Will do, J.D. Have a great day. Thank you, sir. Senator Ron Johnson, Republican of Wisconsin. You heard what he had to say. It comes down to enforcement first. And America's Forum continues following this.